Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Ndibalema. I'm working with uh, currently uh, Besta Super Specialized Clinic. So, uh, sorry, there's a bit of change in the topics, not uh, the role of CT, but rather the topic is the use of diagnostic CT as a CT simulator. So, uh, uh, BESTA uh, started as a, a diagnostic center with uh, imaging investigation, CT and uh, MRI and uh, ultrasound. And this is uh, the, 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 the CT that we are using, it's semen. And then uh, uh, in November 2016, uh, the linear accelerator was uh, uh, installed. It is a 6 MV photon. It's uh, actually the first linear accelerator in Tanzania. So I would say we are lucky to be the first people to use linear accelerator. It's Chinese. Uh, the make is Shimva. And then the operation started uh, in early January 2017. Currently, we are using 3D uh, for the, all the, the, the patients that we've been treating. And we expect to start a MRT uh, by the end of uh, this year. So this is uh, our reception. And uh, this is the machine. This is Shiva uh, Single Energy 6 uh, MV photo. And this is uh, the uh, immobilization devices. Most, all our patients, we use thermoplastic mask. And uh, it's a private facility with a bit of coverage by the uh, health insurance. Now we have started uh, 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 chemotherapy by, uh, and the patients can be covered by national health insurance. It's an uh, outpatient, so we are limited with some chemo, like for false folks, the uh, uh, continuous infusion we are not doing yet. And uh, we have treated uh, around one, 110 patients uh, in a period of about one year and a half. And majority of male patients are the prostate, while female uh, breast is leading. We are also doing chemotherapy administration, and there are also other uh, clinics. So uh, the interest is here. We are actually using a diagnostic CT as a CT simulator. So I think it's very useful. Bugando uh, currently have CT diagnostic CT and while in transition to because uh, I'm sure they are planning to install linear accelerator very soon so they can adopt this many centers have been doing this and it's very useful for facility uh, many countries like ours so what exactly do you need you just need a flat tabletop with index mostly for immobilization. As uh, I said, we are using a thermoplastic mask. And uh, this is the, 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 the flat table. So when we are simulating, we change the coach from the curved to flat. Actually, it was uh, uh, made from the, from the Shimva company. So you just take all the dimensions and then you can easily fix it. So this is after changing from the uh, uh, curved to flat uh, table like that. And this is the indexing. You can see the, 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 the like a, a ruler for marking the immobilization device. And those are the, the clips for fixing the mobilization device. And again, you need the external lasers, which are, this is the sagittal, and these are the uh, left and right. 
and then we continue with the uh, scanning. Normally, the, the scan protocol is almost similar to the uh, diagnostic one, but there are some alteration on the setting for maximization of the geometry and the linearity on the Honsfield unit. And uh, the simulator is connected uh, to the TPS by DICOM system. And then we continue with the contouring and planning. So my presentation is very short. Thank you very much. I welcome questions.